Hi, and welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Today's topic is a trial that we've been doing around soybean singulation. For a lot of years, we've just said, hey, get soybeans in the ground, plant enough, and get them in the ground and they'll grow. And the way they're placed isn't really that important. It's really the population and getting a stand that has enough bean plants out there is really what's important. But you know, as we've been examining at the PTI farm in our research from many different places, whether it's this, this episode on singulation or talking about downforce or residue management, depth and so on, and managing soybeans, really there's impact to yield in the way we manage it. And so let's talk about singulation here. Now, the way we have done this study is really just taking the precision planting V-set meter that's on a planter, and we have two different soybean discs. We have one that's an 80-hole disc, has two rows of holes that are offset, as you can see here. And then the other one is a 56-hole soybean disc that has a single row of holes. So the 56-hole does a better job singulating and spacing the seeds than does the 80-hole. Now, the 80-hole, if you're at a pretty high population on a wider row, you would need to use the 80 hole, but the 56 will work for many scenarios. So we've compared those the last two years. We'll start with the data in 2020. So pass made with a 56 hole soybean disc, turn around, put 80 hole soybean discs in, make a pass back. The difference in yield was 0.6 bushel per acre of soybeans. Okay. So you look at that, we planted at 125,000 population, say, eh, that's not significant. Depends. We'll look at some ROI here in a little bit. Last year in 2019, we tested this with multiple populations from 50,000 to 150,000. And we saw in some of those populations, and there wasn't necessarily a trend of high or low population, but some of those populations we saw, you know, upwards of two bushels, some it was below a bushel. On average, last year, 50 to 150 in 25,000 increments showed about a 1.2 bushel per acre increase in yield comparing singulated with 56 hole V-set disc to the 80 hole soybean disc. Now, let's talk about V-set just a little bit. Why V-sets for soybeans? Well, you know, traditional meters need that continual adjustment to plant accurately, and they lead to skips, doubles, and ultimately the lost yield because we can't make those adjustments. V-set seed meters singulate seeds accurately without any adjustments, resulting in perfect seed placement throughout your field. So put this 56-hole soybean disc in, set up the crop kit right, and turn your vacuum on. You're going to be able to plant various seed sizes of soybeans and plant them very accurately from a population and a singulation perspective without a lot of adjustments. Now, let's talk about the ROI. Now, for those of you that own V-set meters and maybe are running the 80-hole soybean disc today, and you're interested in, in managing soybeans really well, putting in some high management um, characteristics here. The 56 hole crop kit is $53 per row. That's what it would cost. So if you run a 16 row planter to plant your soybeans, it would take 87 acres with the 0.6 bushel increase that we saw in 2020 to break even on that change. You know, the other thing to keep in mind with soybean management is that when you start to look at a lot of the other studies that we're talking about here on Inside PTI, um, such as planting date of soybeans, running seed firmers and beans, residue management, downforce management. We don't see any 8 to 12 bushel differences in soybeans, but when you add up a bushel here, two bushel there, 0.6 in this study, all of a sudden at 975 is our rolling price for beans, but especially if the markets go higher, there's some significant dollars when you look at soybean management as a system, doing all these things well as a system, not just one thing at a time. And that entire system of managing soybeans well provides a lot of increased profitability and ROI. So today's Inside PTI tip is if you're a user of VSET or you're looking at VSETs to purchase to plant soybeans, consider using the 56 hole soybean crop kit in that VSET meter. Our research today shows that in 2020, there was a 0.6 bushel per acre increase in using the 56 hole soybean disc compared to the 80 hole soybean disc. If you're interested in finding out more about VSET meters or this crop kit, please talk to your local precision planting dealer. We'll see you next time on Inside PTI.